Hey there students, in today's video we're going to be talking about how to calculate return on investment. Now we're going to go through what is return on investment, like what does it really mean, talk about how to calculate it and go through a big practice problem. Let's take a look. So first off here, what is return on investment? Well anytime you see the word return, anytime at all, and I'll make this big. This actually means net income. So what they're really asking here is how much income was earned from that particular investment that you made. So that investment can be a lot of things. Usually in accounting, you'll see stuff like they invested in a piece of equipment, a piece of machinery, or maybe a new building. And they can calculate how much money are we going to earn from that. Sometimes you invest in stock, trading securities, different things. So I'll just say investments can be a lot of things. Investments can be stocks, can be a machinery, equipment, maybe even a vehicle. Usually it's a fixed asset of sorts, a building. Other types of securities as well. So other types of investments like that. So it's really about like how much am I making back from what I'm putting in? If I put in $1,000 in the stock market and I make back 3000 that's pretty good. That's a good return on investment, right? I put in 1000 I get 3000 back. We all would do that, right? So that's really what return on investment is. The return means how much income I'm getting back from that investment. And give me one sec here. Let me wrap that. Now, how do we calculate that? Well, it's fairly simple. Now, there's lots of formulas out there. We're going to go through the basic calculation here, really. It's just the amount of net income divided by the total asset that you invested in. So, total asset. And again, that could be stocks. It could be machinery, equipment, vehicle, building, securities. There's so many things you can invest in, right? But it's really just the amount of net income you get back divided by the total assets. So net income over total assets. And that's basically it. Now there are lots of other types of formulas you might see in your textbook or online, but this is the most basic one and the one that really spreads across multiple types of industries. So let's take a look at a problem. It'll really make a lot more sense here. Okay, so now a practice problem. So we're gonna talk about how to calculate return on investment here, go through a big problem so you understand it. Now, Thunder Inc., they purchased a new piece of machinery for 185 k at the beginning of 2019, so very beginning of the year. They're expected to receive a reported 305400 in income, so they're getting money back after making that investment before taxes, though, for that whole fiscal year of 2019. This machinery will increase their production by 25%. The tax rate for Thunder is 35%. What is their return on investment for 2019? So just for 2019, let's focus on that here. Now the first thing you have to do, so this is step one, is we have to go ahead and calculate net income. Now why do I say that? Because it says they give you the income before taxes. And if you remember, the formula for return on investment is net income divided by total assets invested, right? So we have to get income after taxes. That's what net income means, after taxes. So to do that, there's actually two ways to do it. I'm gonna show you both ways. First off, let's get the tax rate. The tax rate is 0.35. So I'll make that big here. Remember, tax rate for Thunder is 35%. Not 25%, 35%. And we also know the income before taxes is 305400 so 305400 dollars so how do we get income after taxes or net income let me show you so one way to do it is you take and do a formula you take your income before taxes and you multiply it times the tax rate so 305400 times 35% and you get this number here and I'll unbold this and make this a little bit more easy to understand. There we go. So it's 106890 So what that is, is that is your income tax, the amount of tax on your income. 
and I'll format it to look like this here. So you move this back over. That's just how much your income tax was. That's it. Now we need to get net income. To do that, we take our income before taxes and we subtract our income tax. That's it. So 305, 400 here minus the 106,890. So let's do that. Equals 305, 400 minus 106,890. That right there is our net income. Now, there's another way to do it. You can, you can also find your net income by taking income before taxes, multiply times one minus the tax rate. So, what is that? Well, you take 305,400 times one, one minus 0.35, right? That's your tax rate, remember? 0.35 is your tax rate. And I'll write that next to it so you see it up here. And this was your income before taxes. So let's go ahead and multiply that out. 305, 400 times one minus 0.35. Now you can probably just do that math in your head. We can even do it right here. One minus 0.35. Uh, I'll have to make this come out a little bit. There we go, 0.65. Then we just take 305, 400, which is your income before taxes times 0.65. There we go, 198,510. That is your net income. So you see there's two ways to get to it. You can multiply it times the tax rate, then subtract it from income before taxes, or you can just say income before taxes times one minus the tax rate, either way. So that was step one. Step two is you calculate return on investment. And again, that's gonna be your net income divided by total assets. So we already got our net income, we'll just move it down. 198510. Oh, let's see here, I'm gonna paste special this, make it values only. Uh, well, never mind. I won't do that right now. I'll just do it easy here. So we'll just write this in. 198. Ah, it's typing up there. 198510 divided by total assets. Which the machinery is your asset here. That's it. 198510 divided by 185,000. And I'll do a formula. So 198. 510 divided by 185,000. Make sure you get rid of the comma. There we are. And I'll move it over so you can see it. And I'll make it bold. That is your ROI or return on investment. 1.07302, et cetera, et cetera. We can even shorten it down further just call it 1.07. Now another way to write this is 107%. 107% as well. And so here's the key. This number is over one, which is what we want. That means you're getting more back than you're putting in, right? 198510 is larger than 185,000, right? So you made money on this, which is good. You wanna make money on your investments. That's why they call it your return on investment. This is a positive return on investment, which is a great thing. So that is what you're looking for over one. Now, sometimes you can also have negative return on investment. And if that's the case, you lost money on that investment. Not that great. So 1.07 is your return on investment. So in this video, we talked about what is return on investment. We talked about how to calculate it. What's the formula? and went through a big practice problem here where I showed you first how to calculate net income and how to use that net income to actually, and I'll make this step two, how to calculate the return on investment. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you did like it, please like and subscribe to this channel. It does help support me. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.